Mugluck here, and I spent 20 hours in Spellforce Conquest of EO to help you decide if you want to buy this game without spoiling it for you. Spellforce Conquest of EO is a turn-based strategy role-playing video game. It is available on PC, PS5, Xbox, XS, and is rated E for everyone 10 and up. The goal of this review is to determine whether or not this game is worth its $30 price tag for you. The game's setting, with no spoilers beyond the tutorial. You play the role of a mage, whose old master has gone missing while researching how to tap into the Ulfire, a resource with in the world similar to ley lines from other fantasy settings. The likely culprits for your master's disappearance are the Circle of Mages, who may have feared that his research into the Allfire would allow him to gain too much power. Determined to succeed where he failed, you begin using your master's grimoire of spells, research, the help of his other apprentices, his very tower, and you begin building up your strength and attempting to master the Allfire yourself. The game's general gameplay. You begin the game as a necromancer, which can use crafting to make troops, an alchemist, which can use crafting to make better ingredients or items, or an artificer can craft runes to improve existing troops, valuing quality over quantity. Your main hub is the wizard's tower. It extends a domain, the glowing border, around it that can pull in certain resources from the surrounding area, while other resources are harvested by workers. After finishing a few objectives, you will unlock the ability to lift off the tower with magic and relocate it at will. The tower is also your main hub for training new troops, researching spells, and crafting. You can make small armies, referred to as stacks, to fight enemies. You can have heroes lead those stacks. Both the heroes and the armies gain experience for fighting and will level up, gaining strength over time. Outside of combat, your goals are to find all fire nodes and claim them for their income, which can be used for mana, XP for your main wizard in the tower, or research to speed up acquisition of new spells. In-combat gameplay is pretty standard for this genre, with each player taking turns moving their troops. A few unique features is that any troop can use items that you have stored, which is very useful on the alchemist, and the retaliation system. If a unit is hit in melee, it will hit back and use up one of its actions for the next turn. So you can hit an enemy with many attacks to use up its next turn, and they can also do that to you. Game Length According to most, Spellforce Conquest of EO takes roughly 54 hours to complete. I played 20 hours before beginning this video. Comparisons to other games. This game is most similar to titles like Hero of Might and Magic and Age of Wonders, with the main difference being how they handle upgrading armies, as well as the ability to move your wizard tower around the map. Controls. Spellforce Conquest of EO can be played with a controller or with mouse and keyboard. I played it on mouse and keyboard and didn't have any issues with this. Saving System. The game can be manually saved anytime outside of combat, but the game does not have have a quick save or quick load hotkey, so you have to go through multiple menus anytime you wish to do this. Content creator concerns. None. I streamed my entire playthrough on Twitch and YouTube and uploaded the entire thing to our Muckluck Plays YouTube channel and did not experience any muted VODs or have any issues with copyright claims. Do I have anything negative to say? Yes. Your troops in the game take a very long time to train, and you have a limited number of slots to train them. Combined with the fact that they level up and gain experience, it is devastating to lose an army and difficult to come back from. For this reason, you may end up saving and reloading often, and since the game has no quick save or quick load features, this results in a lot of menus and loading screens. When you engage in combat, you can choose quick battle or manual. Unlike Age of Wonders, which allows you to do a quick battle, see the results, then manual if you know you can do better, Spellforce immediately locks in the results if you click quick, so if the AI for your hero does something stupid, you once again have to reload the game. Many of your heroes have the ability to make a lodge, which expands your domain. However, when you move your wizard tower, you want to move your lodge with you by moving the hero to the new location and rebuilding the lodge. The old lodge does not get removed until the new one is finished constructing, so if an enemy attacks it, they drain your resources until you head all the way back to the old location and fight them off. The game does not allow you to dismantle the lodge in any way, leading to a tedious back and forth when you are trying to relocate. Getting better units is so convoluted, I had to Google how to do it after 10 hours. You have a training room in your tower that can make simple goblins. If you're playing a necromancer, you can make some undead that are higher level, but they require materials from higher level enemies or quests themselves. Outside of that, I could not figure out how to make higher tier units or get workers like what the circle mages were running me over with. On a related note, I couldn't figure out how to increase the size of my army. By default, your army is 4 units plus 1 hero, which is optional. The enemy would have up to 10 units in their armies. After doing some Google searches and completely spoiling the hell out of myself, I found that there are specific quests around the map for random towns that teach you how to bring a fifth unit in your army. 
What? Or teach you to build a room in your tower that trains higher level troops. So a very important part of the game is finding villages and doing every chore you can for them to build reputation to try to unlock these rewards. You also cannot have more than one hero in an army. So if you have a level 1 and a level 10 hero, you cannot have them travel together while the weaker one gets XP. You have to have the weak one lead its own army at high risk to level up. Lastly, if you follow the steps the game prompts you to, such as using the lodge to get resources or capturing all fire, you enrage the circle mages and they begin attacking you relentlessly. Again, with higher tier units and army sizes you won't have available to you yet. On my final attempt of Spellforce, I tried to keep my head down and stay out of their way while I gained strength with all the tricks I learned from Googling and spoiling the whole game for myself, and still, about 10 hours in, a mage with a massive army came in and hit one of my buildings. I defended myself, and then he had the audacity to send me a letter that enough was enough, I had crossed the line and he would now attack me from now on, which he already was. Final thoughts. It hurts me to give this game a negative review. I was genuinely enjoying my attempts at this game. The moving wizard tower is a cool mechanic. The crafting system is awesome. The combat system is on par with other similar titles, but the sheer frustrations when you get smashed by the opponent 10 hours in because you did the objectives the game prompts you to was beyond belief. Combined with the fact I had to spoil the game for myself to learn how to add a fifth zombie to my army or find out where to get stronger units because it was hidden and other frustrations, I have to say that Spellforce Conquest of EO did did not feel worth the purchase. This had the makings of a very fun game. It wasn't buggy. The developers just appear to have what I felt were very strange design decisions. I would love to see these things changed in a patch, but whether or not that happens is up to them. This video was not sponsored, so if you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more content. If you'd like to see more of my own playthrough of Spellforce Conquest EO, I'll include a link to that playlist from our other channel down below. Subscribe there too. As always, a massive thank you to our dear patrons who make content like this possible. If you'd like to become a supporter and earn early access, there's a link to that in the description. Happy gaming.